Hello and welcome back to the Omni, Omni Studio series. Uh, I'm Vishnu Kumar and we will talk about today integration procedures. Uh, we will go through like what is integration procedures and what all are other use cases that we can uh, utilize for our integration procedure and uh, integration procedure is also called as a like IP. So I will be using IP and again again. Okay, so let's um, get started with it. Okay, so what is integration procedure uh, in brief and uh, in a nutshell, if I say it's your Apex class, right? Uh, so if you're from Salesforce background and if you have written the Apex, this is your Apex class where you write all kind of logics, right? Uh, you can have multiple data raptors, you can insert, you can delete, you can call out third party APIs, right? And uh, you can uh, send out the emails, right? And there are a lot of things that you can do. So uh, I would say this IP is the most powerful backend process for the uh, Omni Studio, right? So before we have seen that data raptor is also a backend process, right? But it just returns the data or transform the data, right? But IPs are like, uh, these are multi-step or multiple action can be executed into the IP, right? So you can see in this diagram right uh, there are a lot of steps that that are uh, like being done in single like action or single transaction right so this is what it is uh, and we will create a, a one dummy ip and we will see like what kind of things there we have here right uh, so let's move to the next uh, slide where we have like what all other use cases that we have for the ip right so definitely uh, um, these are from the Omni Studio, right? Of uh, OmniScript, FlexCard. Uh, you have seen that. Right? Obviously, OmniScript is something that we will be covering in the further sessions. But yes, uh, you can call the integration processor or IPs from the OmniScript. You can call it from the FlexCard. Uh, if you have seen a previous video, we have the one example where we call the IPs from the FlexCard. It was pretty easy. And uh, then best part. Uh, we have here is that we can call the ips from the apex class as well so for example you have written some complex uh, logic right and you have written it uh, like declarative way right you didn't code it right but there is some scenario that you cannot call the ip directly from a let's say certain place right but you can write a single line of or two three line of code apex class and then you can call your ip from the apex class so that's doable as well and whatever ip that we are creating that ip also can be called through the rest api so it's again it's it's very powerful tool set that omni studio provides and whoever is learning the omni studio they must master the ips i would say right it's not just limited to one or two use cases it's limited to uh, it's like a number of use cases that you can utilize here, right? So let's go into the org and let's see uh, how we can create the IPs. Go to the Omni Studio app and then when you click on the drop down, you will see integration procedures or Omni Studio integration procedure. It the name can depend on based on the your org or like what version you have, but definitely you will see something called integration procedures. Okay, so. Uh, Obviously, you will get some of the out of the box IPs there. And uh, then we have like import and export functionality. You can import uh, any IP and you can export any IP. Like uh, once you do the export, uh, it will uh, export it as a JSON and then you can import that um, anywhere, right? So let's go ahead and let's create a new IP. Uh, click on new button and then uh, this will be the your ip builder like uh, right so first thing first you will provide the ip name so we will call it like our demo ip okay and the type and subtype so i will give it the same type uh, same value as i have given to name right so uh, one important thing here when you are utilizing on flex card and omni script right um, so you won't see this name there right so whatever you have written here demo ip and demo ip will be coming uh, there right so when you see in or look for uh, look from the flex card omni script you will see something like this demo ip 
demo IP. Basically, your type underscore subtype. Okay, so that is the important thing. Um, so let's go ahead and let's click the save. Okay, so once you click the save, it will create one IP for you. Okay, there are a couple of other options which we are not going to cover in today's session, and and then we have a uh, couple of options here like uh, delete. You can delete the IP obviously, and then you have create version again uh, if you haven't seen the version concept of the omni studio this is very good thing uh, instead of like working on the same you can create new version you can work there and you can activate that version right so kind of backup you can have right? so, and again activate version activating a certain version export import we have already seen and uh, also uh, every step that we are going to create here uh, you will see something called edit as a json right and this is very cool thing uh, that you can utilize and i will give an example why this is very cool right and uh, so this is over a typical ip uh, designer that you are seeing here uh, then we have the available components and uh, salesforce is investing a lot in uh, omni studio so you can see that uh, uh, there are actions there are a couple of actions which were not there in the past releases right so with every release or uh, every alternate release salesforce is putting more or more actions here right um, so there are groups available cash block conditional block loop block and try catch blocks groups are something where you can add multiple action in it right so in condition block you can add 10 or 5 calculation actions set or actions you can do that right and so this is how it will be okay and then actions what you can do right so uh, you can see there are data raptor actions right and then uh, there are ips right so you can call one ip from the multiple ip right you do remember that uh, in apex class we have the main class but we have the helper uh, class and helper methods right so something like that you can build uh, as well here right so you have the ips um, and then you can call the same ip from multiple places based on the parameters right and then um, then you can response action and set values is something that we will be utilizing and even though when you are developing something in ip you will be utilizing response ac response action and set values again and again um, these will be your core uh, in next video uh, we will go through this what is a set value and a response action in detail and how we can utilize it but uh, here let's see like how it works so basically if you want to have some actions right let's put it here so let's say you want to declare two variables right and then you want to get two different data sets right so something like this right so each step will have their own own parameters and like so you can see that uh, data raptor have uh, this data raptor interface name right so whatever data raptor that you have like you can uh, align that data raptor here so every action have their own setup of the options here okay so this is how it will be and when ip get start getting executed uh, this will be executed in a like sequence way right so first this will be executed this will be executed so consider these these actions as a as your apex uh, line um, it's apex code of lines right uh, so this is how it will be and uh, couple of options here that you will see in every steps right uh, which will be like execution conditional formula right so here you can define like if this step should be executed or not right so you can define something like oh definitely we will go through this again uh, but just to give you an idea right and uh, this is the preview uh, you if you are coming from the flex card or like data raptor right uh, the past video that i have created you will see this option everywhere preview right um, you can pass parameters right uh, you can do this way or you if you are good at json building you can go with this way as well right and so once you execute it uh, you will see this response okay so this is the response that uh, will be returned to the uh, the place where where we are calling the ips from right um, so if you're calling ip from ip that that parent ip will receive the response if you're calling from omniscript if you're calling from the flex card that those components will be receiving these response right and then then we have this uh, like error and debug output where you can see that it 
shows a lot of values right so every step so this is right now set to debug response for where you see entire things right entire json but if you see every step have their own values or debugs right so we had set value one right set value two data raptor action one right so every every step that every action we are going to add right they will have like a response of that so debugging is very good when it comes to ip right and then if there are any errors that you will see here a couple of options like uh, how much time was taken by the ip right that you will see here uh, in detail and and then we have like an options uh, so how your ip is configured right now so if it is debug true or not is enable or there are a lot of options right which you whatever you can do in apex are uh, definitely you should able to do in the uh, ips right so that's it uh, for this first session uh, and you haven't subscribed the uh, like channel please do subscribe the channel uh, this quite motivates me right so cool. Uh, see you in next session. Bye-bye. Thank you.